the you last gotta one? Leave. You, gotta leave. you gotta leave, you get arrested. Thank you. Thank you. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. Hi everybody, it's a demo. We have Pete behind the camera and Amish Paul sitting next to him. Yeah. And uh, we're on our way to Weed Clauses, Bob Constantine's uh, trial in uh, Grafton. So the folks up there in Free Grafton are going to be there. Right. Bob's a member of Free Grafton and he is being prosecuted by the state or harassed, if you'd ask me, for growing plants in his backyard. And uh, they offered him a pretty sweet plea deal, something I, I believe like a year on probation or something like that with a little bit of time in jail. And he, as a hero, denied, refused to take the plea deal and uh, is now going to trial where she could face considerably a considerable amount of time um, if a jury finds him guilty and the judge, the man in the robe, rules so. So we're going up there to show support and uh, we're hoping that Bob, uh, you know, uh, tells people that it's self-ownership and you should have the right to grow things that you want on your property as long as you're not harming anybody else and is free and we can stop this ridiculous war on drugs. Again. Searching again. Mm -hmm. Trying to stop people from bringing cameras in. Protect your precious hundred dollars. Um, that's crazy. Any excuse will do. in the courtroom. You're going to have to leave. But according you to can who? come in. The electronics have to go out. According to whom? Excuse me, Jeff. Can I talk to you? Oh, so I'm supposed to take your word. That's it. Now, will you leave? Well, I said I've been right satisfied on this. So I just want to make sure you're unclear. You're presenting the news media. I'm ordering you to courtroom. take your electronics out of the courtroom. Did you swear enough to uphold the Constitution? Order out there. And what does the Constitution say about the free press? What you want to do is go to the clerk's office. Well, I just want to be a free press, and as, as a member of the press that's supposedly free, I should be able to be here. Don't you think? Does it make sense? It's my understanding the concern is something about undercover cops. Tell you what, I won't photograph the undercover cops. Howard! Howard! He didn't hurt anybody! You put a peaceful man in a cage! 52 years old. 
worked his whole life. Man, who do you think you are, dude? Hey, 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 don't don't assault me. I didn't touch you. Don't assault me. What do you think, man? Do you think that's all right? To assault peaceful people like us? How do you go to sleep at night, man? Hey, man. Funny what you do to peaceful people? Is it funny what you do to peaceful people? I'm just bringing my laptop in so I can report from this event. What, what you need to do is go to the clerk's office and talk to them and then they'll well, see if they'll set you up with the judge. Well, that's what you're telling me I need to do. And I'm telling you that you should respect your oath to uphold the Constitution and allow the free press and the free media in this courtroom. We're following a judge's order. So you follow the orders of a man in a robe above the, so, the uh, document you supposedly swore an oath to, uh, to uphold. Is man that right? robe made an order and we're following the order. <laughs> the order says cell phones and cameras. I'm not in the courtroom. You're in the courtroom. I'm not in the courtroom. Just go outside of the and you'll be outside. Thank you very much. Okay. I got this one. So, just want to make sure we're clear here, you don't uphold the Constitution, you uphold the, the man in the robe and what he says. Anything he says goes. I just want to make sure I'm clear on this. That's pretty much the case. So, if I walk through here, what are you going to arrest me for? Violation of the court order. And what's that charge? Violation of the court order? Contempt. Is that a misdemeanor? Oh, that's contempt. Yes. So now you guys are threatening him for what? Who is he harmed? What you guys are threatening him with a cage or just steal what his What we're going to do, we'll get the clerk to go in and talk with him. That'd be great. How's that sound? Sure. Shouldn't even be an so issue. what the clerk wants to do. I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah. I understand you guys are afraid to disobey their orders. I understand that. You know, are you going to get fired if you let me walk in here and sit down and take some notes? See, so you getting to work. I'm here to do a job. So... Sir, sir, stay right there, please. Oh, is it? Why, why would I not be able to sit down? Just wait a minute. Men with guns who are going to put me in a cage? Good question. Is that what it is? I mean, if it's a badge, I can get a badge. I just want to be clear. Put this one. Just step up to the class. Not up to you. Not up to the Okay. He really wants to arrest somebody. Yeah. Everybody, what you doing? Hands off, we need applause. Hands off, we need applause. There's no criminal here. It's not your business to make prison his home for over a year. If you respect him, he's made the victim disproportionately. Don't hurt him for her. Nobody need applause must be free. Yeah. 
area. Yeah, there's a sign right there, guys. Uh, I didn't see it. Is this what you guys signed up for? Keeping people from laptops and cell phones walking in your precious courtroom? They want everyone here to pay for this trial, but they don't want anyone to see it. Right? My name's Tom Andros. And what did you do? Uh, you work? I work for the sheriff. Okay. You have any thoughts on the Bob Constantine trial going on today? No, sir. Come in or go out and close the door. You're just all about orders. What do you want to do? You want to go in or out? You can't stand in the door. Do you want to go in or out? Dude, this thing just ended. We're finishing a conversation. I'm obviously going back in to support okay, my friends. Let's, let's have a silly discussion, guys. We don't, okay. Just, okay. So, well, have a good day, man. Right. Think about what you did. Think of the censorship you were just responsible for. So this guy just hauled ass out of here a moment ago in the unmarked car with yep. the... Yeah, I'll say. Guy. Can't feel good about this today, can you? Doesn't look like you feel too good about it. Where's the victim, guys? This is the reason why someday people are going to stop paying your paychecks. Then what? I'm going to put Censorship. us all in cages. Right? Cages for everybody. Build more buildings next door, right? With our money. You think growing a plant is the same as being a murderer? This is intimidation. What did your people do to uh, putting on our friends? Chances, you're right. What about growing a plant in your own property? Get out do you not have a comment for that? I'm not even in here with it. Do you have any comments about those things? Do you feel good about what you do here today? He's a peaceful person. Peaceful purpose person. How about you? Oh, slam the door. We want to come smart, buddy. We're just hanging out, public building, right? Nice yeah, lot. Just uh, have to set some questions for those folks. Okay. Well, Wait till they come up. Where are we? Wait. Wait. 